Okay, welcome everyone to this webinar on Sibelius for notation and music education and also looking at the new features for Sibelius 8.0. Let me dive straight in because we've got a lot to get through. So if I scroll down a bit, the demonstration today is a general overview of Sibelius and its capabilities uh, rather than a, an in-depth how-to session, though I will cover a lot of detail. Um, but I want to show you as much of its magic as possible in the, uh, the short time we've got. So for those of you who might be beginners, we have a great starting video under the Learn tab in the Sibelius Quick Start dialog, which I'll just switch to now. So there's a quick tour video here and a couple of others as well, along with PDF tutorials. And we also have a great new series of introductory videos focused on Sibelius 7.5, uh, labelled Get Started Fast with Avid Sibelius. And you'll see the URL link here. And there's more info and videos on Avid Blogs for Educators now too. We've got an eight-part video series created by Katie Wardrobe of midnightmusic.com and she's uh, created a wonderful series focusing in quite a bit of detail on the education-centric features of Sibelius, and I'll mention some of those today. So just to start with the ribbon interface, uh, so we've got a basic overview of how the interface of Sibelius is laid out and the logic behind it. You'll see the ribbon is this wide band of command buttons across the top of the screen, and they're organised according to task. So under the Home tab, for instance, if we look at the clipboard area, which is circled in red down here, just to highlight what we're on about. And the uh, clipboard hosts all the, uh, the things relating to the clipboard, such as cutting and pasting. And the Instruments tab, uh, sorry, the Instruments area of the Home tab, for instance, houses uh, all of your options for adding or removing instruments, instrument changes, transposing or non-transposing score. And under note input, we'll have the note input area for things relating to note input, uh, setting up your input devices, and so on and so on. So down on the, uh, the bottom left of the window as well, just looking at these options we've drawn attention to here, this little area of information here will update depending on what you select in the score. So I've just clicked on a text object here and we'll see it updates with information relating to that particular object, which uh, bar and beat it's connected to, which stave uh, it's connected to as well, and uh, a bit more information, and that will change depending on, on what you select to give you information relative to that particular selection. And on the bottom right, we've got some options here that uh, should be familiar from Microsoft Word and uh, other similar applications. So we've got some page spacing uh, or page layout controls here that can quickly get to different uh, page layout options and another zooming option here so you can zoom in and out of your score uh, just like you can in Microsoft Word and PowerPoint and things like that. So I'll just scroll down a bit. I've drawn particular attention here to a series of uh, special shortcuts uh, that you can get to via holding down the Alt key on your keyboard and releasing. If you're on a Mac keyboard, it will be hold down the control key and release. So you press it and release it. And then what turns up are all these letters in the ribbon that give you direct letter shortcut access to the ribbon tabs. So if I click N for the notations tab, for instance, and then it shows me all of the shortcuts that I can then use to get to uh, any of the commands under that ribbon. Uh, so this is whether or not there's special shortcuts that are created in Sibelius for those things. It will let you access everything this way, which can be really useful when you've got a certain order of operations that you need to go through and you want a faster way to get to those commands repeatedly without having to reach for the mouse all the time. And there's also for anyone that might be upgrading from an earlier version of Sibelius, a find in ribbon search engine uh, which is this little option up here that we'll see on the top right of screen. And that allows you to enter a search term. For instance, SCH has brought up the Schenkerian Scale Degree plugin. And if I click on that option that it's found, it will zip to the tab, which is the Review tab, and in this case the plugins list and show me where that command is found. So something a bit more generic it will show a lot more options. So if I click uh, enter bars, for instance, 
we have home bars, delete bars, and then a whole other number of options here containing the word bars in the info. Delete bars is an interesting result there because it is uh, something that comes up for me in my role in Sibelius support as a, a relatively common question for new users is how to delete bars instead of just deleting the, uh, the notation within them. So when I click on that, you'll see the, the bars area is jumped to in the ribbon and it, annotate, uh, it animates the uh, delete bars button here to, uh, to let you know exactly where the feature is. So do make this, uh, use of that if you're upgrading and, and looking for things that you know the title of uh, from your previous version. Uh, and also if you're uh, a new or even experienced user, sometimes uh, when you're looking for something new and you think you know the right term to search on, uh, give it a go in the, uh, the Find in Ribbon feature and it can often save you the need to, to actually search the reference manual or other means to find out what you need to know.